Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. This is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Welcome to your weekend, East Alabama and West Georgia. Dr. Don with you on your Saturday morning. Don't forget, click that link at the top of this video so that you can get that cost-free, no-obligation insurance quote from Jamie Dukas. You're going to win some great prizes if we draw your name out of the hat, such as the Dr. Don weather app and many other great prizes first of all though let me say congratulations to charles helsel he is our latest winner he's from mudford alabama congratulations to you charles you win the dr don weather app you're also going to pick up two tickets uh, to go to the oxford rodeo which is coming up on uh, june 10th and the 11th and we're going to be giving away more of those so uh, you're going to want to make sure you get your name in the hat so that you can be a winner here on dr don's weather also you're going to pick up that k and l car charm car freshy from k and l car charms uh, we're going to be giving away more of those corner 56 the store with the red door 25 dollars gift cards coming up in future drawings as well as the 25 dollars gift card for metal farm equipment up in Weedowie. So make sure you get your name in the hat so that you can be a winner with Dr. Don and Jamie Dukas, your local alpha agent. All right, so here's the deal, folks. On June 25th from about 9 a.m. through about 3 p.m., we're going to be camping out at the New Hope Volunteer Fire Department on County Road 56 between Weedowie and Woodland for the New Hope Volunteer Fire Department annual turkey shoot. They're going to have barbecue sandwich plates, hot dog plates. Uh, we're going to be giving away all kind of cool stuff. We've got Dr. Don t-shirts, bumper stickers, uh, keychains, uh, and then Jamie Dukas is going to join us, and there's just no telling. I mean, he's liable to give away uh, uh, an automobile. I mean, there's just no telling what, <laughs> what Jamie's going to come up with uh, for giveaways. Now, you're going to have to come by and register. So that's why it's very important to mark your calendars so that you can come by and register for all the great prizes that we're going to be giving away June 25th. Uh, WTVM meteorologist Dana Barker is also scheduled to come by and visit with us for a little while. Uh, we may have representatives there from the iSchool Sports Network and from God's Country and the Classic over in Ashland, Alabama. So this is going to be a great day. We're looking forward to it. Live broadcast. We'll have interviews, special guests, all of our supporters. If you are a supporter of Dr. Don's Weather, we want you there. Come by, hang out with us for just a few minutes. We want to talk to you. We want to get you on uh, during one of our live breaks. I mean, you don't have to, but we would certainly love to uh, showcase your business and thank you during one of our live broadcasts on June 25th from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. at the New Hope Volunteer fire department let's jump into your weather forecast don't forget to follow us over on youtube subscribe to our channel and then click that bell so that when we go live for severe weather you'll get that push notification so the shower and thunderstorm activity is going to kind of retreat to our south today so i think we're good today across east alabama and west georgia if you're down there on the beach for this weekend i think from about pensacola east you're gonna have a chance of a scattered thunderstorm uh, nothing major nothing at all like what we're seeing down in south florida in association with that tropical system down there uh, the only effects that's going to give you across the northwest gulf of mexico is going to be maybe some rough seas some rip currents look at those flags if they're red, do not get in that water if you're down there today uh, and tomorrow as uh, the surf's going to be pretty rough down there. Uh, but thunderstorm activity will be limited across the northwest portion of Florida and the Alabama coast and uh, shouldn't see any thunderstorm activity at all across East Alabama or West Georgia. Then as we get into Sunday, maybe a few more showers and thunderstorms across the coastal regions of Alabama and Northwest Florida as uh, what's left of our tropical system gets way out into the Atlantic. Uh, but we stay high and dry here across East Alabama and West Georgia. Then for Monday, we'll bring back that 20% chance of scattered summer thunder on Monday afternoon, only about a 20% chance of getting wet 
on Monday. Now, speaking of our system in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, here's what's going on. This uh, dude is just taking its sweet time uh, and is really still unorganized and has still not been named uh, because we have not sustained tropical storm force winds. We've got gust up to 35 and 40 miles per hour, but the National Hurricane Center, uh, we thought this was going to happen yesterday morning. Uh, but here we are 24 hours later, and we still don't have a named storm. If it does become a named storm, it will be Alex. This is what's left of Agatha that came uh, out of the Pacific and crossed over Mexico into the Yucatan Peninsula uh, several days ago. Uh, and they're still forecasting it to make storm status before it gets back out into the Atlantic. So that may happen this morning. Uh, lots of rain. That's the bottom line. Lots of rain, maybe some gusty winds. Uh, this is for South. South Florida, and of course, there's a tornado threat down there as well. Uh, but there you go. Look at the rain. I mean, we're just talking uh, soaking rains across South Florida and uh, cro across the Keys. Uh, you can see the circulation spinning there just south of Tampa, and that's going to continue to move off to the east, northeast, right across the southern tip of Florida, causing a pretty wet day down there, and that will linger into tonight as well. But that's far enough south where it's actually helping uh, our weather across East Alabama and West Georgia. It's keeping all that tropical uh, humidity and, and, and moisture and, and soup, if you will, well to our south this morning. So uh, what's bad for them is turning out to be pretty good for us across East Alabama and West Georgia. Current conditions at the East Alabama Bee Company, Mr. Jeff Monroe, how about 66 degrees? High temperature yesterday was 85. We have fair skies this morning. The winds out of the northeast at one, gusting to three. 91% humidity, the barometric pressure, 29.87 inches of mercury and steady. Sunrise this morning at 531. Sunsets this evening at 7.48 p.m. Yeah, not quite as hot today. Still going to be kind of warm if you're in direct sunlight. 85 this afternoon in Roanoke, 84 in Ashland, Lineville, Widowie, Woodland, 85 over in Franklin. LaGrange goes to 85 in Valley. Tops out this afternoon at 87 degrees. Don't forget to follow us over on Instagram. It's our fast forecast in 60 seconds or less for East Alabama and West Georgia. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent for today. Really nice weather uh, for the weekend. You're welcome. <laughs> Mostly sunny this afternoon, 85. Uh, overnight low of 63. And then Sunday's going to pretty much be a carbon copy of today. Plentiful sunshine, 85 will be your daytime high. Monday, we will bring back that summer-type afternoon scattered thunderstorm. We call it Summer Thunder here on Dr. Don's Weather. 20% chance of seeing that Monday afternoon. Uh, 86 will be your high on Monday. Tuesday, mostly sunny, 88. You see the temperature slowly rising as we get into midweek next week. And unfortunately, the humidity levels will rise right along with the temperature. And then that'll increase our chances of rain by the time we get to Wednesday. 20% chance of summer thunder, 90 for your afternoon high. And then on Thursday, more summer thunder, 30% chance likely, 89 will be your high on Thursday afternoon. Here's your Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar looking at the entire southeastern United States this morning. And we see two distinct areas of activity. Uh, that stuff over there in southern Texas, uh, just south of Kellen, Texas, headed toward Houston. Uh, and that's right there along that uh, stalled out front that stretches from uh, just south of Houston all the way back over to around New Orleans, then right across Mobile and right up the eastern seaboard. And then you see that mess down there in South Florida. That is what's left of potential tropical storm number one. And you can see just uh, copious amounts of rain taking place down there this morning. But with that front stalled out where it is and this storm being so far south, that's going to keep all the wetness down there to our southeast and we will stay high and dry across east alabama and west georgia let's just take a quick ride in a little bit closer and you can see right across the dr don coverage area there is no precipitation out there this morning 
Please follow us over on Twitter. It's at DSTREN1040. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at drdonwx.com. You get my daily weather forecast over on God's Country, 90.9 FM, and the classic, 89.7. I encourage you to listen to both of those fine radio stations. If you can't pick them up out of the air, you can listen to them on your smartphone, Bluetooth your phone to your automobile radio, and you can go anywhere in this whole wide world and listen to God's Country and the classic. It's pretty cool. It works very well. That's what I listen to over here in Georgia. It's the classic and God's Country 90.9 FM. Thank you, Mr. Mark Mitchell of Bama Diesel Repair. Mark is one of our supporters here on Dr. Don's Weather and Mr. Roger Bell of Auto Brokers, uh, Roger Bell Auto Brokers in Roanoke. I hope both of these guys come by and visit with us when we're on location at the New Hope Volunteer Fire Department June 25th. If you are a supporter, we want you there as well. Hey, if you watch and follow Dr. Don, we want you there, period. Make your plans to come hang out with us. Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise, I'll see you back in here first thing tomorrow morning for your Sunday morning edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.